hello guys so in the last video we were able to finish it up till here where we just created our routes so now it's time to uh, actually there was the thing which I want to do which I forgot and I made a mistake just a moment and that's not a very big mistake which I made so instead of these profiles we can use a common profile route which can give a profile of a, uh, any kind of user so what we can do is profile route profile route so it will be a router dot get profile route and this will be an asynchronous function which will take request response so this will be a common profile route and let's say instead of these profile route admin protected user protected and these are the protected route and this can be a common route so which can we can do in that way and before doing anything let me quickly check if my docker is running so docker ps a and yes docker is still uh, exited four minutes ago so let me run it rerun that docker start mongo so this will run my mongo daemon server and let me quickly run a spin up the server so that I can simply write and node mon and this will spin up the server so everything is working just fine now so now let's go let's go and start creating a core logic so in the routes directory or instead of in the route directory what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a functions or utils folder and in this utils folder I'm going to create auth utility JS package so these are the packages which we are gonna use which will create for our own sake to so that we can use them and for now we don't need to work worry about anything about in the index.js okay so that looks fine so what I'm gonna do is firstly create a login route uh, to, I'll create a package in the auth.js so that we can uh, we can register a user because registration for all three is just the same process and we can do in the same function but we, what we can do is we all we need to keep the track of the role so these are the three different routes to register user register admin and these are a super register a super admin and in the same way login of the the core logic of the authentication application is the same only we have to deal with the different routes so what we can do in this way we can simply go to this auth.js package which file which we have created in the utilities so we can simply doing we can start simply doing our stuff so we can simply say const uh, we will we'll need a user model so we'll bring it from there require from our models directory in the same and we'll go to the models and we'll bring in our user from there so this is the user model so first function which I'm going to create is uh, description of the function is to register the user function it can be any admin super admin and user so we can simply say user register as a function and this will be a asynchronous function because this might, this has to deal, interact with the database so this may take a time so we can simply say user deaths and then it has a role and it will take a response so later we will deal with this response stuff in the in the fur. And firstly, um, what I'm gonna do is firstly I'm gonna validate the user. Validate the user. Okay. So as you can see, our in the models we have a user with the user name, name and their email. So these are the two fields which has to be unique in order to uh, create any account while other fields can repeat itself so we don't have to worry anything else 
So validate user validation will take in the moment. So firstly, I'm going to create const check or uh, instead of check validate username function equal to this will be again an asynchronous function which will take username okay so what I'm going to do is simply check into the response check validate username function so this is going to go into the database and find one user from there use this username and if that user is found that means the validation is failed so it returns something true or false from there so what we can do is simply go let user equal to user dot find one and we'll pass in our query fields so username should be username whatever we have for we have passed in here but since we are using ES6 so we don't have to get rid of the key value pairs and if user is there that means return false that means we are sorry that user is already existing so we can simply and if the if there is not user we can simply return true right so instead of doing this way I'm gonna wrap it into terminal ternary author object return user false if there is a user and if there's not then we'll return true and in the same way I'm gonna create another function called validate email and here we are gonna pass our email so in the same way these are the two processes in order to check the validate the username and in the same way validate the email so what we can do is simply now check let user name taken await validate username and pass that user did username from this user debts so we can simply say user debts dot username okay and in the same way email registered I don't know if that the spelling is fine that's okay email so we have taken this username and email from there and we have passed in there and now we'll check if and let me make And this will be status of 400 bad request message is taken success is false name is already taken okay and let me quickly see that way Hmm. 
-hmm. Email register. So what we can do? Found that user. That is true. This won't execute. So that's fine. Yeah. And the same with this email register. Email not register. Yeah. Okay, so first this is going to take that username, find that from the database. If that user is existing, then it will return false. That means if the user and this, this condition will get true, so it will automatically throw that out. In the same way, this will also work. Okay, so now if there everything is just fine, we can simply say, hmm, we can simply say what yeah so we can simply register the user so what i'm gonna do is firstly gonna hash that password get the hashed password and we can simply say const hashed equal to await bcrypt dot hash function and this bcrypt has to be brought in which we have already installed i guess in the previous video and i don't think so we have installed so i'm gonna, gonna open a new terminal npm install bcrypt js and this might take just a moment and yes that package installed so i'm gonna exit out of that terminal and const bcrypt equal to require bcrypt js yeah okay so this bcrypt dot hash and this will take our user that's dot password field from there and we'll give her hash of 12 round of salts so this will hash our password then we'll create a new user create a new user and we can simply say const new user equal to new user and now we are gonna pass everything into the user deaths so this is a spread operator we are gonna spread all the values from the user data details then we will simply say password hashed password okay so we are going to spread that thing and this will simply create the new user and after once we have created that the user we are going to save that user oh wait new user dot save so this might take just a moment and once we are done with this thing we are going to return response a return res dot json with the status of 201 that is created status hooray now you are success fully registered please now log in and success will be set to true so in this way we are gonna simply log in the user
Now, best part of this, in order to make this application error prevention, I'm going to cut everything from there and I'm going to wrap it into try catch block. Okay, a little piece of advice you can implement the logger function over here. Um, package like Winston or uh, this one more called uh, let's forget it so you can search more like Winston you can implement Winston function in order to keep the log track of the log log request and errors and in the same way this will be our 500 error unable to create your account whatever message you feel like you can send it from there and success will become false okay so you can keep the track of this error also so this is basically our user registration function so next thing is I'm gonna I'm gonna export this function from there so we can simply say module dot exports equal to register I think what was the name user register so I'm exporting this user register function from there okay so now I'm gonna use that function over here in our user registration module so firstly we need to bring in registration function and we can simply say const oops we are going to bring in that function from there from one up and we go to utilities we'll go to auth and we'll bring in that function from there so in this case whatever we have in our request.body object we'll pass that as a user over here user details and we'll pass that role as well as a response so await user register and rest everything will be taken care by that only so request.body and it's gonna take a role so this is a user type normal user login and we'll pass that response so this is a way how we have implemented our authentication to create our user so let me quickly reduce the font size so that you can see whole you can see code code so we brought in that request from there and then we pass that body over here as a user details and we passed in the role and I forgot to use this role now now you will say where are we seeing that role so we can simply say role is equal to role okay and since we are using ES6 we can simply say like this um, hashed password we are using ES6 again will pass in that password over there too so we are spreading all that data from there and then we are registering that user and uh, you can see nothing is working and nothing is breaking that means our code is working just fine okay and in the same way now I'm gonna copy this code and cut this from there put it in over here so the, here will be admin type and here will be super admin okay so this is a user registration function and everything is taken care by this user object and I don't know why this bcrypt okay hmm 
okay that looks fine to me so let's go ahead with the postman and test this api asab so postman so in this way we have created our user registration function without repetition of the code only the thing that matters was this role which we are passing over here okay and let's put your finger cross and see if this is gonna work or not so let me quickly increase the size okay so that you can see all the things properly clearly so here we have a new post request localhost api slash user uh, what was the endpoint register user paste it body i'm gonna paste use raw uh, json format Narendra Maurya Password Something let's say your super secret password And only these fields were there I guess Name email role will be taken automatically one two three four. Okay, so let's put your finger cross and see if this works or not and you can say username is already taken and that's why that's because i think let me quickly check the database i think i am using existing database so okay where we have the database mongo compass i think already i have i have already used that database so env node auth and this will take just a moment okay compass connection let me connect it uh, i think node auth node auth there's no database so that means that's my error If there is a user that return false okay got it so this will be a wait promise because this is a time taking process so we have to block that code until this line has ran so it will return that something back over here and instead of validate username this will be email okay so now let's try and now we can see we have we are successfully registered so now let me refresh the database and no dot application we have a users collection with one object in there okay and we have also hashed our password in there so everything is just working fine and let me re retry it again so it will take give me this response that username is already taken so let me repeat the email but not the username so now if i send email is already registered okay so let me make this one one and now try and now we can see we are now successfully okay don't worry about this messages these are not nothing 
big issues you can always customize your messages you, you know the stuff right so if i go to the database and if i refresh now we have a two collections in there there are two passwords so let's try to register our admin nanny mandy admin admin okay so now if i send this request and you are registered and if I again go to the database now you can see this role here is user and here is the role of admin so let's try super admin and it will again give you this username is taken super admin super admin and now if I make this request and now we can see all the rules are working just fine in here okay so this is not a lot of repetition of code it is just working just fine so we don't have to worry about anything it's just pre working automatically everything is just fine okay so now we need to go inside our users.js file and in order to create our auth authentication request to, in order to get our in order to get our stuff from there so what i'm gonna do is gonna create a new function called over here const user login function and this will be again asynchronous okay and in here we'll write our logics of uh, getting our username so what i'm gonna do is simply create get the username so this will take a couple of things from there firstly let's say user credits and response okay so what we can do is simply and it will again take the role what kind of role we are gonna pass in here so we can simply say let username comma password is equal to user credits so this is again an object destruction we are pulling out these values from the user credits object which will pass over here while login while authenticating and let me quickly increase the font size so that you can see it properly okay so now what i'm gonna do is simply first check first check the username is is in the database okay so how we are gonna do this is simply by saying const user equal to await user dot find one and we'll pass that username okay since we are using object destructuring uh, since we are using ES6 we can simply write this and this will take that automatically if that user is not there what we can do is simply I'm gonna copy this line of code 404 request because username is not found in valid login credentials this message over there now but if the user is found we will check the role so what we can do is simply if not user dot role not equal to the rule which we have passed over here if that is not equal i'm gonna still again copy and i'll put this as a 403 status which is unauthorized kind of please make sure you're logging from the right portal so we can give a three to four login requests from the same logic so if if this also this condition is also passed that means the user is valid now we need to compare the password 
That means the user is existing and trying to sign in from the right portal. So this is for a logic for a highly scalable application. Now check for the password. Okay. So to check for the password, we need to simply say let is match match equal to await. Again, we will use bcrypt and the compare method and we'll pass our plain password which we have and then we will pass our user dot password which we have in the truth database and if both matches this will become a true otherwise it will give a false so now we'll check if is match if that is true sorry if his match is true then sign in the token and issue it to the user sorry okay else we will again I'm gonna copy and paste some couple of lines paste it over there incorrect password we'll send this message mm -hmm. okay so we'll send that package uh, we'll send that this response from there and if that match is there then let token equal to JWT dot sign sign and we have installed JSON web token so we need to bring in that from there JWT equal to require JSON web token package in order to issue that token okay so this signing process will take a couple of objects in there so first one is like whatever the credentials that you want to pass into that token so I'm gonna pass user underscore ID which will be user dot ID or specifically saying un underscore ID then I want to pass role user dot role okay and here we want to pass one more payload uh, one more thing username user dot use name okay so we are passing username also and email is also should be there I think user dot email okay so we are passing these four fields in order to hash the password hash the uh, sign the token and then we need to pass one more option one more thing that is secret which we have defined in our env file so we are pulling that in from this env uh, app secret here we have the app secret and now we need to bring in that app secret from there in our authentication module so we can simply say const secret could require into the config so we need we will bring that secret and we will pass that secret over here as a plain string secret and then we will again pass our one more payload that's called expires in method and we'll say let's say seven days okay so this token will be valid for the next seven days and once we have assigned this token and now we need to return that response so we can simply say let 
result equal to username user dot username role user dot role email user dot email token token and since we are using vs6 we don't have to specify it again like a separate key value pair and expires in let's say um, 168 hours so you can plan, program a logic on the front end accordingly and we'll return this response Um, quickly uh, copy and paste this logic over there save it so we are spreading that result object values in here like this and we are throwing that out so let's try to log in but before logging into that application we need to uh, let me quickly we need to export this user login function from there okay and now we need to bring in there that over here okay and now in here we'll pass that await we'll call that function we'll say request.body and then the role will be user and then we'll throw that response we'll pass that response copy this line and here we'll pass that admin and in the same way we'll so see that super admin okay so let me collapse these things yeah so here we have for user login for admin login for super admin login okay so let's try one of them and okay instead of register i'm gonna say login send this request and here we get our token see as it's fine yeah one more thing i forgot to add in here where we had where we shoot our token so what we can do is simply say token is equal to Mirror token okay so now let's try again and we have a bearer token now there see our token is now issued and we can simply check the validity of this token by copying this token from here and we can go to this link called jwt.io so you can paste that token in there and check the validity or authentic authenticity of that token so you can paste that token in here paste it and you can see all the fields whatever we have hashed over here here are in the token and it doesn't expose our secret so we can use that for different portals like let's say one for login registration login of the admin one for the login of the one for the login of the super admin and one for the login of the user so you can check in that way and if i refresh the database everything is just working fine so now next thing is like let me quickly hide this terminal so we have done with our user login so let's say go for the user login uh, we have tested with a super admin and uh, let me quickly check into the database whether what's the user credentials in anybody one two three so this will give you please make sure you are lo right, logging in from the right portal so here i'm gonna say login user 
so now we are getting everything is y voila so let me copy this comment paste it so that our github repository is also maintained okay so these are the functions which we are using reusing again and again so we have now created our login system now for the profile and other protector routes i want to see you in the next video because this video is kind of long so let's get started in the next video thank you guys <laughs>